Hello, Mary Meet. So, I wanted to review a tarot deck, and the deck I wanted to review is this one, Masonic Tarot. It is made by Patricio Diaz Silva, and I'm not completely sure who made it, Sloka Scarabia made it. I do have to say, I like the box this comes in. This is a heavy duty box. Uh, it will keep your um, cards safe for quite some time. Now, this is one of those sets that have a little bit of a fancier little white book. I can actually get it out of there. It fits very snugly in the box, but I do like it when they give a deck a box like this. That is heavy cardboard, rather than just the flimsy ones, because then you don't have to go out and buy a pouch, unless you absolutely want to. So yeah, this is the book. Mine came a little bit dinged up, but that's okay. So this, of course, is based on Masonic symbolism. And um, it just like the usual low scale bio little white box, you have here uh, five languages, English, Italian, Spanish, French, Deutsch, and I have no idea. Greek, perhaps. I think that is Greek. Is this six? Two, three, four, five, six. It's six. Excellent. So basically, it goes with an introduction, including an introduction about uh, elements and symbolism, which is quite useful. Then it tells you about the uh, Karna. It has a lot more information than your usual little white book. You see here. Um, uh, one of the major Karna cards go over almost two pages. Let's have a look at the uh, minor ones. I can find it. the minor ones though. Just get the blurb. And I think there were. Um, and it also talks, talks a little bit about the sweets. Yeah, there were some uh, layouts here. You have the typical three card layout, a typical five point layout, and um, uh, the Master Mason, which is one that's made for this deck, which I always love because I collect. Uh, layouts. Then you have some glossary of Masonic symbols, which is extremely useful uh, if you are not very used to that. And then you have notes. So, yes. I mean, you could get by with this. It doesn't give you an ocean of information, but you can get by on it. That's that's the thing. You can get this set as a gift for someone, and they can actually do tarot readings with just this set. So of course, I do recommend getting an actual book about it, but yeah. Well, let's see. Here we have the advertisement card. I wonder how many shuffled that into their reading. Another one of those. It's almost that some people have started to make meanings about what you do when you get those. So yeah, here are the cards. Let's show some of them. I don't have enormous amounts of time today, so I just thought I would make a quick video, a quick review. Before I'm heading out the door, I'm going to an Asperger's support group meeting. As you can see, it is Rider White based, but with a lot of Masonic symbolism. I really liked it. Uh, Masonic um, occultism is not something I have dealt really deeply into, but a lot of their symbolism is beautiful, and it comes off so amazingly in this deck. Uh, the artwork itself isn't really very, very pretty, it's functional, it shows the symbolism, but I mean, it's not made to be pretty, it's made to showcase these symbols. So yeah. Here's the back of the deck, with, and something that I really, really like is it's 
fully reversible. So uh, if you want to read it with reversals, that will not be a problem. You cannot see if a card is right side up or reversed. So as you can see, the cards are slightly uh, comic book type style. Uh, there's heavy symbolism, but I mean, it, it isn't great artwork, but it really, really, really works because of how the symbolism are portrayed. And they are heavily glossy and as such do stick a little bit to one another. So again, I would recommend putting on a movie or something and just shuffling these when you first get them to just rough them up a little bit so that they won't stick together, but they aren't as bad as some, especially some uh, Oracle decks I have had. So, yeah. It's the world. The cardstock quality is quite decent. There were a while where uh, low scale bit of really dipping when it came to quality, but this, this will last you for some time. It's a completely decent, okay cardstock quality. So, then we have some of the miners. This is not perfect. Uh, as you see, they are not fully illustrated. You just have cups here. Let's go on to. You do have, of course, the um, court cards are fully illustrated, but the regular minor arcana cards are not. So I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, but as you see, they have also renamed them. You have cups, but you have gold instead of pentacles. But as you see, they are they are then coins drawn. So they are not. I prefer it when it's fully illustrated. But for a deck this good, I deal with it. So yeah. And that's basically it. We have mallets for, I think these are, they were the clubs, right? Yeah, they're the clubs, the, the wands. Very odd little mallets there. Not, I don't like the minor arcana half as much as I like the major arcana of this deck. We have swords. Yes, I mean, it's not that much to see of in the minor arcana because like I said, it's not fully illustrated, which I hate. But that's really my only complaint about this deck. This is a good deck. I can imagine really using this to do some reading. And as I explore more into my Sonic and Alchemical, because there's quite a few of those as well, um, symbolism, this will become even more useful. It's a good deck for ritual magic. It's a good deck for just uh, working with the Masonic system, and it's a good divination deck generally. It's not pretty, but it definitely works, and it's chock full of symbolism. The cards are of a great quality. It comes with a nice box, and even the little white book are of a good quality, so I highly recommend this deck. And excuse me, that's my um, phone. So, yeah, then I have to run. So, have a great day, and blessed be, that's my review of my Sonic Tarot. Bye!